Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. NBA coach Steve Kerr accusing senators of holding America hostage during powerful school shooting speech Golden State Warriors coach Steve Kerr has accused 50 senators of holding the United States hostage after children were targeted during another senseless mass shooting in the country. 19 students, one teacher, and two other adults were killed when 18-year-old Salvador Ramos opened fire at a Texas primary school on Tuesday. You can watch in Kerr's fiery speech in the video above watch the latest sport on Channel 7 or stream for free on 7 Plus speaking ahead of the Warriors' Western Conference Finals NBA game against the Dallas Mavericks, Kerr fumed over the dire situation while visibly shaking. I'm not gonna talk about basketball. Nothing's happened with our team in the last six hours, Kerr said. We're gonna start the same way tonight. Any basketball questions don't matter. Since we left Shoot around, 14 children, later updated to 19, were killed 400 miles, 6437 kilometers, from here. And a teacher. And in the last 10 days we've had elderly black people killed in a supermarket in Buffalo. We've had Asian churchgoers killed in Southern California. And now we have children murdered at school. When are we gonna do something? The five-time NBA champion as player, and three-time champion as coach, then slammed his hand into the table as his emotions overflowed. His fury on the issue runs deep, all the way back to 1984, when his father, Malcolm, was shot and killed by terrorists outside his office at the American University of Beirut. The NBA icon has spent most of his life living with the emotional wreckage of that tragedy and the thousands of other mass shootings that have followed. He said he was sick to death of paying lip service to the issue, turning his attention to a group of 50 U.S. senators that have declined to vote on a House bill, H.R. 8, which establishes enhanced background checks on gun purchases. There's 50 senators right now who refuse to vote on H.R. 8, which is a background check rule that the House, United States House of Representatives, passed a couple years ago, Kerr said. It's been sitting there for two years. And there's a reason they won't vote on it. To hold on to power. So I ask you, Senator, Mitch McConnell, I ask all of you senators who refuse to do anything about the violence and school shootings and supermarket shootings. I ask you, are you going to put your own desire for power ahead of the lives of our children and our elderly and our churchgoers? Because that's what it looks like. It's what we do every week. So I'm fed up. I've had enough. We're going to play the game tonight, but I want every person here, every person listening to this, to think about your own child or grandchild or mother or father or sister, brother. How would you feel if this happened to you today? We can't get numb to this. Kerr highlighted that a vast majority of American citizens have urged politicians to enact tighter gun laws between 80 to 90 percent, however a powerful few continue to live in the pockets of gun manufacturers and lobbyists. Well, let's have a moment of silence. Yeah. Go Dubs. Come on, Maves. Let's go. Kerr said. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go play basketball. And 50 senators in Washington are going to hold us hostage. Kerr pounded the table once more railing against pathetic lawmakers, saying I've had enough before walking off. Less than five months into 2022, the mass shooting count in the United States has zoomed past 250, with 50 and counting this month, according to the Mass Shooting Tracker website. The site lists a total of 4634 mass shootings, defined as four or more victims, since January 1, 2013.